case, <coughs> we've been discussing different range of motion. Um, active range of motion and passive range of motion. So what we're going to do is I'll demonstrate active range of motion, the different position or the different motions that we do. What we do is like uh, rotation is where you would rotate the joint. Abduction is where you would take it away. Adduction is where you would bring it forward. Flexion, extension, supination, pronation. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to demonstrate on the dummy I have here. So what you'd actually do is you would wash your hands prior to coming in the room. You come in, you introduce yourself. My name is Charity. Um, Joyce, nice to meet you. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to do um, range of motion on you, just to get those joints a little mobile. And what I'm going to do is raise the bed just a little bit so that I don't get hurt and I don't hurt you in any way. So what we'll do first of all, we're going to be working on her shoulder, her joints in the shoulder, and her elbows. So you want to make sure that you have a, a good position on the joint with your hands so that you don't injure. So what we're going to do is abduction, adduction, flexion, extension, rotation we won't do with her because we might hurt her joint in this bed. And then supination and pronation. Okay, there you go, ma'am. What I'd like to do is have a couple students demonstrate uh, passive range of motion. Do I have a couple volunteers today? And what were your names? Kerstin? Kamel? Okay, what we're going to do is just do it in the Okay, so what you're going to do is just go through similar to what I did, but you did. Okay, I would wash my hands and introduce myself, and I would explain to the and make sure that she didn't have any questions. And then for the passive range of motion, we can do abduction, 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 flexion, extension, flexion, extension, flexion, extension. Rotation, 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 and supination, pronation, supination, pronation, supination, pronation. Okay, so basically what she did, she demonstrated for you today, is that usually you do a set of three. And um, so what she basically did was she did a set of uh, three with each motion that she did. One thing that's important um, with range of motion is the fact that we're increasing circulation, increasing strength, we're trying to prevent contractures or at least decrease them somewhat. And hopefully this does help them out. I might just demonstrate or just show you what happened to me. I had surgery about three months ago and because I didn't get um, the type of treatment that I needed with physical therapy, I have uh, basically a frozen shoulder where I can only go up so high. So this just shows the importance of range of motion to increase the joint mobility. I have a question. Yeah. Is this something you would do on all of your patients every day? Actually, it just really depends. You need to get an order from the physical therapist or the physician's lawyer. So at that point, you would do whatever is prescribed. Anyone else have any questions? So the doctor prescribes um, different motions? Correct. And for different joints. It's actually a good idea to start, if you're going to do a uh, range of motion on a patient, usually what they'll order is you want a whole body. So basically, you'll start from the head, usually always start from the head, and work yourself down to the feet. So moving the neck, every joint that, that you can move, you're actually